Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today. We are in the dirt street stocks at Lima land There's no qualifying that's gonna happen. So we got a random draw starting sixth, which kind of sucks for us But we were third fastest in practice. I feel I've ran that guy's time in the last practice I was in so should be interesting trying to get through the field of some people that were slower than us in front so 30 laps. I'm not sure if there's cautions or not not sure if there's cautions or not i haven't ran these yet this week and i would assume there is because there normally is in the street stock series but this should be interesting getting a random draw i'm happy we didn't get a draw too far back so at least we have a chance to get up front pretty quick i was able to get by some slower cars on the higher side in practice so that was good that was good practice for this race really and I was just talking about practice, like the warm up that they give you, the few minutes they give you before this race. Cause this track came in completely clean, but now you can see that there's a ton of dirt pushed up to where there's gonna be a lot of grip in the beginning. And probably for a lot of the race, there'll be a lot of grip, it looks like. But the grip's very low. So being on the outside kind of hurts us a little bit, but we can kind of pinch them down on the bottom for the most part. Hopefully we can get a pretty good restart to start with. Don't know what gear these guys are going to be starting in in front of me. Hopefully third. I don't know where this four car is going. Hopefully we can avoid the wrecks and get just ready. get out front. Or at least get towards the front pretty quick. The pace car is in. That 11 went like immediately the on the pace truck. Okay, so we're already up the fourth. <laughs> that worked out pretty quick for us. I just want to try to get my back right tire on this grip down here. And that is the fast way around right now. He's going to wreck the leader. Go high. Go high. Oh, that parted perfectly for us. Holy crap. All right, we're second now. I, I thought I was going straight into the side of the three car. Maybe there isn't caution. So I'm very happy. Very happy that we didn't get up in a part of that. Let's see if I can chase down the six car now. Because I got by him in practice. So hopefully, I don't know if he was just sandbagging or I'm actually faster than him. We'll see. Just got to run consistent good laps and stay out of wrecks. I, it looks like there's no cautions. <laughs> so that's scary. I don't know if this series is official or not either. I would assume so since they uh, gave us a... Yeah, nobody knows how to race this track. They gave us an I rating number. They didn't. They didn't let you use whatever number you wanted. So I assume that it's an official. Usually, a non-official race, you use whatever number you want. Like whatever number you give yourself for running in practices or leagues or whatever. It'll put you as that number usually, unless somebody else has the same number. Then it might go by I rating then for whoever gets that number. In practices, it goes by whoever gets there first. I'm very happy we got through that in the beginning because that was almost really bad. That was so close. I gotta go back and see that. That was kind of crazy. But I definitely need to have a good finish here because I need to gain some I rating back from that UMP race at Weed Sport. <laughs> I lost like 60 something I rating in that race. Not gonna gain it all back in one race, obviously. It's harder to gain it back. Much harder to gain it back. Kind of pulling away from third place here, which is good. The six car is just running real solid right now. So I can't really get a run on him. He's straightening up his car a lot better than I am off the exit. Which I feel like it's pulling him away from me. This track, the line always moves up so high during the race. It's kind of crazy. He got in the wall there. The line just moves up so high in this track. It's kind of funny. Like, you, you almost start running the wall towards the end. I'm 
Yeah, he's just getting a lot better of an exit than I am. But I'm happy these are fixed races. There's not many races on this week 13 slash 14. Because they call it, it's week 14, but they're still calling it week 13. There's not many races that are actually fixed. I was going to run the regular street stocks because they were at Charlotte, but they're open setups. And I don't got time to try to make a setup for those. Because all it is is like, it's like Daytona or Talladega in a cup car and everything. Just for the street stocks. Because you're wide open. Try not to scrub speed off, basically, that's about it. Oh, he smacked the wall. That lap car kind of messed him up behind. Yeah, this six car just running really solid. If he would have ended up in that wreck, like with the uh, three and I think it was the 11. Could have been gone from the field. Well, not not gone because they're they're doing pretty well behind us now. But we got a pretty good gap back to them. I just want to see if I could ride this edge all the way around these corners and maybe catch this six car because he's staying a little lower coming off the corners. It seems like, and I'm actually getting pretty good runs on him now. Because this, my car is hooking up and going. Oh, I got way too sideways there. That didn't work. Okay. I need to try to get to his outside, but that's going to be super difficult to do. Well, not if he does that. He continues to go low. Might be able to get to his outside. Oh, don't get him. Yeah, one inside. Clear low, clear low. Low, far down low. Inside. Clear low, clear low. He's starting to run like a weird slider line now. I'm gonna end up getting huge runs on him. Got one inside. All clear, all clear. Got one stopped up hot. Go low. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Dumbass. How did I get a zero X for that though? Why the hell would that guy just sit on the track, dude? Got one inside. All clear. Oh god, that's really bad. These lap cars are a pain in the ass now. Dang it, I should have freaking had the lead though. I had the outside on him and everything. Five left to go. These lap cars are so bad though. You got one inside. All clear, all clear. You got one inside. All clear, all clear. Oh, I got on the gas too much in the slick right there. That was bad. I was trying to cross him over. I don't know how I got a 0x from trying to squeeze through that car in the wall. Because it definitely messed up my front left. Yeah, lap car. Mess him up now. Lap cars have screwed me over enough. That car is a lap now. Two to go this time by. Both car down low. Outside. You're clear high. Clear high. God damn it, dude. I've raced you clean all freaking race. Don't do that to me. Okay, and there's lap cars throwing sliders, which is stupid. Well, I feel like I should have won this race. I really feel like I should have won this race, but all these lap cars are a pain in the ass, dude. Jesus Christ. I feel like I should have won that. Great job, driver. Yeah, good race. I feel like I would have had you if that lap car wasn't backwards in the back stretch right one lap. 
Yeah, I feel like that's the first time lap traffic ever saved me a win. Let's go. Yeah, and then they're at the end, they're just throwing sliders on us, which makes no sense. Yeah, like, you had a big run on me coming out of two that one time, and I was like, oh, here he goes. I'm like, oh, no, there's a car. I'm going to make him try to run into the car if he's going to go outside of me. Oh, I barely squeezed through them in the wall. I got a 0x, but it messed up my front left a little, but I got a 0x somehow. I thought I was going to nail him. I had nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, that was yeah, fun. It was, like I said, there was a couple times you had some big runs on me and just lap cars got in our way from you passing me. Yeah, good race, good win. Oh, that was fun. Damn. I love how lap cars throw sliders on you and not even have a chance to gain a position. All right, so right here is where I had a huge run on him. Well, we didn't hit him. We just had one get spun right when, like I said, oh, the guy was facing back. He was gone back. by the time I got to him. That's some bullshit. Look, he's right I there. By the time uh, I get to him, he disappears on the screen. He but he was still there when I definitely went by him because I got front and left damage. Real hard. Like we're, Damn. He throws a slider on two of us. But that sucks. He, uh, I got the best of him. All right, what happened? Oh, that was super close was right there. Falling. I don't know what happened to the leaders. They got into each other on the second lap. For yeah, they did. Hours. That's what I'm watching right now. They got into each other. I thought I was going to go straight into the three, and they spread apart perfectly there. That was amazing. Damn. But yeah, I, I feel like I definitely should have had him towards the end. Because these are the last few laps. He kept running a little low. I was trying to run the very edge. These lap cars, man. That sucks. We had such a good race until then. If I had a huge run coming off a two on him. If that three was not backwards right here, which it doesn't show him there anymore, but he was definitely there when I went by. And it gave me some front left damage. God, that sucks. I still definitely had some runs on him. My car didn't turn that well oh, there. Yeah, Patrick, I don't even remember there was a car wrecked there like, that slowed it. me down. But I just kept ripping the outside and I caught him again. And these lap cars just slow us up. Like the 7 up here, this purple and orange car, he was trying to throw sliders on the leaders for some reason, which was just stupid. But look, I caught all the way back up to him again. Get back onto his outside, but there's a lap car running the damn wall. Almost got into him there. Tried to do a crossover, got on the gas too much. But I had a good run on him there. But I was just able to run farther on the outside where I stayed in the grip and I kept getting good runs on him. Lap car messed him up there, which I was very happy with. Made him go low. Then the lap car runs him low. It was just stupid. Lap cars are pain in the ass, man. And I was trying to go high just to not run into the lap car. Get a good, like, decent run on him on the bottom. He, ra he ran the wall. He hit the wall. I didn't know that he hit the wall, though. And that's where the six came was down a little bit further than I expected. We got together. And that just, like, lost me so much momentum. And then a lap car tries to throw a slider for some reason, which is just stupid. Just stay out of the way, please. Let the leaders race. Damn. Just let the leaders race, please. And that's the last lap. So we ended up fi finishing like a second behind them, but I feel like we could have won that, which really sucks. But let's go see what kind of I-rating I ended up getting, because I got second, so I'm definitely going to gain some I-rating. So let's go see what we got. Okay, results are in. We finished second. We started sixth with the random draw, and we should have freaking won that race. I, I definitely had a very good car there. But we gained 18. That's decent, so I'm happy about that. Got up to 41.69. Nice. Sixth place car, he's about the 2,000. He gained 90 out of that. Got a little bit of safety back, too, because that UMP race at Weed Sport, oh my god, there were so many X's in that race. Lost so much safety, but I have a lot of safety to even lose, so. I was actually the only Class A in this race. Kind of funny. What was the number two car, actually? Because the number two car, he was at 21.64. So I had about a 2,000 I rating gap over second place. I definitely should have won this race. 
I, I definitely felt like with how fast we were too, should have won it. Just, I didn't know there was no cautions in this race. I'm happy we didn't end up in that first wreck at least. So gave ourselves a chance, did what we could with the lap cars. If you guys run this, just be careful of the lap cars. If you end up, if you don't end up in a wreck, you'll be good. So that's all I got to say about that. Just learn to handle your car, not run into any lap cars and you should be fine. Cause what was it? Uh, fifth place was almost seven seconds back from us. The top four were pretty close for the most part. Actually, no. Yeah, the top four were pretty close for the most part. It was me in first, and then third and fourth were pretty close for most of the race. So it was it was a pretty good race overall. I think all of us just didn't get any into any bad incidents. They might have hit each other once, and that was their 2x. But I feel like I should have had a 2x from that three car on the back stretch, but I didn't. So it is what it is. We got second. Very happy with that result. Uh, I think the tracks are going to change tomorrow. And I might run that track as well, because this week 13, week 14, they change daily. They're going to Lanier tomorrow. So I might end up running that as well, just to do something else. The UMPs are at like Fairbury right now, so I don't really want to run that. Because Fairbury is not my cup of tea, especially in the UMPs. That's a tiny ass track for that that those cars. And where are they going tomorrow? They're going back to Weed Sport tomorrow. So I might go and run that again, just to get more practice on that track. So, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the race. Wish I could have gotten that win for you guys, but hopefully you guys learned what I was doing in that race. You got to run where the grip is and you can get a lot of speed and just don't run into some lap cars. But appreciate you guys for watching once again. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more racing. If you want to see one of my past races, I'll be here on the screen now. And I appreciate all you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next race.